Good morning, everybody. I'm Scott Ramp. And I'm Noelle McVoy. Welcome to Wake Up Missoula. Exactly. That was Asaf Adonai on piano. Asaf, what song was that? That's just chopsticks. Oh, your basic chopsticks. <laughs> yeah. Nice, very nice. Well, things nice. are warming up this week, and this show is just heating up this morning. Um, it is currently 45 degrees outside. You can expect your high to be 77 degrees. Uh, your low is going to be 47, so it's going to be a nice, cool day. Open the window during the night. You get a nice, cool breeze going in while you try to sleep as the weather just gets hotter and hotter. And, of course, there is some rumor that Saturday we expect uh, it to touch in the 90s. But, of yeah. course, uh, on here it says uh, 85. It will be the high. But you never know. You it just could be 90. That's yeah point it totally could be but yes our rain is gone and sunshine is here so it's june 1st it's summer pay your rent everyone Oh Should yeah, it's time to pay my rent. Mm -hmm. I had to do so much stuff mm -hmm. today with MCAT. Um, the library is doing some kind of like award ceremony thing, okay. so I'm gonna be filming that today at noon. Nice. So you guys can check that out and see who, uh, which librarian is the most uh, library savvy. The Dewey's <laughs> Decimal Awards, they call them. I don't know. Really? That's I'm, great. I'm, I, I just say, where do you want me to be and what time? And yeah. like, okay, I'll shoot that. Yeah. <laughs> like an assassin. Well, it is summer and uh, I honestly, like after Memorial Day, boom, it's pretty much summer. And mm -hmm. so we're gearing up, ready to go. Uh, everyone's yep. being all like, okay, it's time to get ready for this fire season. It's it's going to happen. It's it always, is. It always happen. happens. It's inevitable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, maybe not in the same areas, but probably brand new areas. But of course, if you live, live up in the Bitterroot, uh, Bob Marshall, those areas, those areas are about due for another fire pretty yeah. soon. <laughs> I guess so, but only time will tell, and hopefully it doesn't happen until the end of summer. Maybe like September would be nice. Yep. But of and course, if you want to um, find out more information, you can go to the uh, Weather Channel. I mean, the Weather Channel at, or, or the uh, National Weather what, Service. National Weather Service. National Weather Service. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, if you want to find out more information about Wake Up Missoula, you can log on to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice. We made you write it out twice. Um, you can see a picture of uh, me and Noel, me on piano, as I did play piano on our Monday show. And Noel is uh, dissolving probably to herself. Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, there's uh, our our Facebook page, Wake Up Missoula, and you could also follow us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook, and to find out more information about us, go to MCAT.org. Yep, and uh, MCAT doesn't have any um, brand new programs, just a lot of repeat programs for the last... Um, couple days for your next couple days but of course mm -hmm. they're still um, as important as um, if you guys missed the original recording you can you can watch the present lecture series tonight oh, nice. you can watch the global public health and of course you can watch um, our very unproduced show uh, the awful truth about society which is uh, put on by our elderly punk rocker mm -hmm. Emmett yep Yep. And he's been doing his show for, he did it for a good 20-something years, took a hiatus, and is now back on the air. Yep, so stronger awesome. and more opinionated than ever about how everyone's going to hell. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> that's just how it is. True. Yeah. yeah, that's his show. So yeah. it's it's good. <laughs> it's good to have shows like that on television. Yep. Yeah. And, of course, tomorrow you can say what everyone should know about Montana's disclosed um, Disclosure Act Ooh. to succeed and stuff like that. Great. And also, it looks like ASAF Cafe is on tomorrow at 5. Nope. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, the lovely ASAF here. Thank you. And he uh, interviews guests, and they just talk about life, and he plays piano, and sometimes they eat some food. And uh, yeah. um, also, uh, next Wednesday is our orientation. So a week from today, um, on June 8th, at 5.30 here at 500 North Higgins Suite 105. You can't miss this. We're just right off the Spruce, Spruce Street entrance of our building. And you can uh, be part of MCAT, make your own show, be uh, you know rent equipment, mm -hmm. um, rent out our studio, and make your own show like us. It's really fun. Yeah, you can, yeah. Um, you can call us at 542-6228, otherwise known as 542. MCAT. Or you can email MCAT at MCAT.org. That's our general inbox, and w one or many of us will get back to you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes all at once, or sometimes not at all. Yeah, <laughs> well, not at all. No, I'm just yeah, kidding. Yes, like, we uh, definitely get back to unless you, yeah, unless you're not like you know one of us. Yeah, like, <laughs> we, we can already tell from like emails. Like if you're not one of us, it's like oh, it's like oh, this person's not one of us. Let's not email them. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, no, it's not. But of course, it is graduation this Saturday. Are you oh, guys yeah. excited for a bunch of those?
those high school kids to graduate and join part of us in the workforce um, and adult world. Yeah, you know, I'm excited for them. Yep. Way to go, kids. And That's of course, awesome. um, is uh, Taco looking to, uh, um, I guess, uh, employ any of these high school kids? At no. A- no, not not at any all. of the high school kids because they're no, they don't care, they don't listen, they're not. Ready you just to don't want to go through the whole training process. No, we go through the whole training process. Okay. It's just most uh, most high schoolers just like. What about high school grads? Mm, yeah, maybe apply. We're hiring. It really depends because you can have like. Uh, it depends what, what, on what if what if like someone like Mason? Mm, no, because they have to be eighteen. They have to be eighteen to work at Taco. I think so, because we serve you beer. So? Oh, oh we yeah, serve that's beer. right. You gotta yeah. be eighteen. And also, like when I started at Taco del Sol, I was nineteen, and I was ridiculous. So, I mean, seriously, I was ridiculous. <laughs> that's like, that, that's, a, that, that's like so, that's a bias to nineteen year olds. Because I don't care. I, I was, I was 19 totally, once. I was totally. But you were probably just as ridiculous, and like didn't. You I was know, ridiculous. Your common all the time. sense, like my common sense, some areas where I. Like now that I think back on things that I did, I'm like, no. why did I do that? that I was does probably not make sense. I was very ridiculous when I was 20. The whole like weird 18, 19 year old phase mm-hmm. was more like a transition phase for me rather than, uh, you know, like a real like out there active phase. Talk about soul is very chill. It's very laid back, and it's all about taking initiative and personal responsibility. And sometimes 18 year olds that just graduated from high school don't have that. No, oh, they just want to go out and have fun. Maybe exactly. we'll take a long trip. Exactly. I mean, like a year up. Yep, that's why we're not going to be hiring high schoolers. Yeah, but then <laughs> okay. So this whole like uh, build up. This is an intro to a video I have for you oh, guys, good. Um, which has been like three minutes of build up. Yeah, that's, I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> uh, this is uh, this is a graduation ceremony that I shot last week, and this nice. is a, kind of like a highlight of of that. Um, it's the Native American ceremony celebrating um, graduates in Missoula who are. Uh, belong Belong to um, one of many different tribes across the state and or across the northwestern region or even part maybe even this um, southern west region region who knows it really depends um, but there's a lot of uh, uh, Missoula has one of the higher um, um, Native American graduate um, mm-hmm. rates than anywhere else. They have like a ninety percent graduation rate That's for awesome. Native Americans, and a lot of uh, um, areas awesome. around have like a really low one. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. So, um, without further ado, here's a little little taste of what you guys can see in the next um, coming weeks on MCAT, um, along with the actual graduations, which um, MCAT will be shooting this Saturday from nine a.m. till three, four in the afternoon. And thank God I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be filming the Hell Get Roller Girls about yeah. again. And yeah. Much and, more. and we'll have a guest on this Friday to talk all about it. Yeah. All right, that's enough of this. Here's the video, and then when we come back, we'll have events with Noel. I said, Dad, I said, why do we, uh, as Dakota people, read people as relatives? And he said, well, that way, Mike, you can hit them up for cash later on. <laughs> so, uh, a little piece of advice for you. So, um, at this time, when we start our gatherings, I'd like to introduce Kate Beals. She's going to offer up a prayer so we can begin the evening. And sing and dance and play and work hard every day. Take a nap every afternoon. When you go out into the world, watch for the traffic, hold hands, and stick together. seniors and the families and the students, everybody here tonight to do what you did to support the students to graduate, to get them through school and what Kate said to kindergarten to this point. And so um, that's pretty powerful. So thank, thanks again, Matthew. That was, that was a beautiful song. Um, that's one thing I get to do sometimes is I, I sing at powwows and also sing at ceremonies. And one of the reasons I started doing that was I, I'd go to feeds when I was younger and do these traditional powwows, and they'd always call up the, uh, the elders to eat, and they'd say, elders and singers, do the line first. And so I figured, maybe I should start singing. And so, um, that's a bad joke there. But when I did first start singing, these guys, they said, Mike, you have to sing a little higher. We want you to sing tenor. I said, you want me to sing tenor? Yeah, and they said, we want you to sing tenor 12 miles away. 
<laughs> that, that was adorable. Those are really funny jokes. <laughs> I, I was laughing at them. Hello, everyone. We are back. Um, and this is what's going on in your community today. So, uh, over the Missoula Public Library, starting at 10 a.m., is their 2016 Summer Family Reading Program. And so, what it is, is they're offering a variety of events throughout the summer that include learning activities and family movie screenings. Um, so, for more details and to get a reading program, you can stop by the children's desk. So, that kicks off today. Also, at the Public Library, they've got open hours in their makerspace at 10 a.m. You can uh, learn how to use the equipment or work on a project of your choice from 10 to 6 today, so all day long. Um, over at the Missoula Art Museum, also at 10, is the kickoff of the Missoula Art Museum's Art Teachers Exhibition. So every year, the MAM hires lots of different artists to come teach their camps and engage with young artists and uh, children. And so, they do for the public to get like a sense of who these artists are and the high caliber of their art they uh, put up an exhibit and so that it lasts from all summer long so it's june 1st until it looks like august 27th and so that starts today so you can go, uh, you guys can check that out it doesn't say where it's going to be but it'll be in the gallery 10 a.m to 5 p.m tuesday through saturday for you guys to look at i'll take this uh i'll i'll check that out friday for first friday which yeah. is happening this first friday it's true. It happens on First Friday. It usually does. Uh, does uh, oh, speaking of uh, Wednesday events, is uh, the uh, new uh, uh, out, out to Lunch yes. starting? Yes, that's my Ooh. next thing. Good, good segue, Scott, because you guys, Out to Lunch starts this week. So uh, today, Mike Batter Band is going to be at Out to Lunch starting at 11. So this event is sponsored by First Interstate Bank, Community Medical Center, and Missoula Food Bank. They, uh, what, if you guys don't know what Out to Lunch is or dinner in the park, what they do is they bring out a bunch of food vendors from different food places around Missoula, and then they have children's activities, and they've got music, Music and food and wine and lots of different fun things and it happens Wednesday during the day from 11 to 2 and then in the evening on Thursdays from 5 to 8 so every week all summer long starts starts today over at Spectrum Discovery area, uh, it looks like their discovery bench is bubbles and the brain lab is reflexes and electricity it opens at 11 They've got their Science Sprouts as well, which is their for their younger crowds from ages 2 to 5. And uh, their Science Sprouts is, their theme is Bubbles. It starts at 11. Taekwondo is over at the Children's Museum of Missoula, and that's also at 11. Uh, over at the Missoula Public Library in the computer classroom, they are having a Stream Your Music class. It starts at 12.30. So you can set up an account, search, make playlists, um, and check out different service, different streaming music services such as Spotify and Apple Music. <laughs> Middle School Writers is at the Missoula Public Library at 3.30. There's a writing group for grades 6 through 9. Um, and it's for them to get and give good feedback, play with words, eat some chocolate, you know, keep them out of trouble. Uh, over at the Public Library, there's a couple more things there. They always have lots of great events. They have got a computer programming through Minecraft. Starts at 5. Um, and so it's for ages 8 to 13. Space is limited, so you can call 721-2665 to sign up. Or 721-BOOK. Or 721-BOOK, yeah. Uh, over the public library, they've got jewelry making in their workshop that starts at 6. So um, in their makerspace, starting at 6, they've got jewelry making. And that goes until 7.30. You know what I like? I like how the library is now um, really gearing up for a lot of their summer programs, yeah. which include a lot of um, uh, programs to keep kids busy during the summer. And I'm assuming they probably will have some summer camps as well. I would think so. Yeah, definitely. So I'll keep you guys tuned in for that when I find out. Yeah. Uh, over at the Zootown Arts Community Center, they've got to inspire, connect, and create. Uh, this is where it's the third Thursday of every month, and it's where they host a drop in art forum. So you can go in there, work on a project of your choice, and hang out with other people that are working on their projects. So that starts at six. Uh, and then over at the Starving Artist Cafe and Art Gallery out on South Reserve, they've got a open mic, starts at 6. And then we're back at the Public Library for Socrates Cafe at 7. And so Socrates Cafe is a uh, formal yet intelligent and lively discussion of topics relating to core areas of philosophy. Um, and so it'll be in the boardroom. Participants choose a broad question to explore at each meeting. 
And then I've got a couple more, one more event for today. It's a country dance lessons with instructor Kathy Clark. That'll be at the Sunrise Saloon at 7 p.m. Um, and it's only $5 per lesson, and it happens every Wednesday and Thursday. Yep. So that's what's going on in your community. Switching gears now over to Musical Notes with Asaph Adonai. Well, before we start, I just want to say June 1st, 1938, the first Superman comic was published. And I think that's a pretty cool bit of history. Nice. And also, Noel, I have an ultimate compliment for you. I have a Ooh. cousin in California named Violet Young, uh -huh. who is 84 years young, and she watches Wake Up Missoula in California. <laughs> She's you. probably watching this right now as oh. we're taping this. So her name is Violet. Hi, Violet. <laughs> I love my cousin. She, she's 84, really sweetie. Nice. And um, she's really fond of you, so I just wanted to let you know. Oh, she, <laughs> Thank you, man. I like that young lady there. <laughs> you know, middle-aged ladies, they just kind of like really neat, so. <laughs> okay. Anyway, in the movie Coming to America with Eddie Murphy, there's a scene where there's a man and two women sitting on a couch. They have their perm done to their hair, and they have their hair care products in their hair. And when they get up from the couch, they leave a circle stain on the <laughs> on the couch. There's like these three circles on the couch. And I just thought that was such a funny scene. Now, the reason I'm talking about that is because the hair care product that was used in that scene is our guest on today's musical notes. And we are talking about Afro Sheen. <laughs> And there, you know, I, when I was in high school, I used to actually use this stuff. I used to get in the mirror just like this and spray this stuff. And and I had a little afro similar to this. Not quite this big, but I had my little afro. I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting because, you know, when I see, like, uh, this product or, like, the use of it and all that stuff, it's mm -hmm. like, I, I don't hear about it anymore. They don't really talk about it. It's not, like, as big. It's, it feels as though that after I saw that movie, Coming to America, making fun of Af Afro Sheen and all that stuff. Yeah. With, for jerry curls and whatnot. Yeah, I was going to lead to the jerry curl, but this is what was called Afro Sheen. This was the product here, and it was very oily. You know, you'd spray this stuff, or they have, like, this... Um, cream that they put on and it was so oily it's like pouring Crisco on your hair <laughs> and it would literally circle on a couch every time when you go to visit someone and this came out this afro sheen actually came out in the 1960s when the afro was popular in the African American community like this young woman here you look at like Soul Train or some of those early shows and everybody had a fro or you look at Starsky and Hutch, <laughs> and everybody had the little afro. That's just the way it was. But when the afro fell out of favor, that's when they had what was called the Jerry Curl. This man right here is the creator of Afro Sheen. His name is George E. Johnson Sr. He's the um, one of the first African-American entrepreneurs. He founded a company called Johnson Products it's an international cosmetic empire. And there he is carrying some of his products here. And again, I used to use some of these products when <laughs> I was in high school. Did, it, what, did he create Ultra Sheen? He created all the whole, I was going to lead up to it, yeah, but he created all of that stuff. All the Sheens? The original, we're talking about the original. Right. The original uh, Afro like, Sheen. Because I, I do remember from what, uh, like, just looking at the products that went in, I don't know if Afro Sheen is really as popular as always, but there's still a lot of Sheen type sprays that are still popular today. Yeah, well, see, first of all, Johnson was born in Richton, Mississippi. And in 1944, he took a job in a cosmetic firm as a chemist. And then he and his wife, Joan, we'll show her here in a little bit. There she is. When they were younger, they created a, a product called Ultra Wave. And what it was, it was this cream that they had in a jar similar to this like this is more primitive than this here and what you would do is you would put it on your hair because like african-american hair in its natural state for men and women is kind of clumped up matted like a little tiny afro so this this um ultra wave they put this cream on it would straighten out the hair mm. and make it look like sammy davis jr or somebody like that and they called it fried dyed and laid to the side <laughs> that's just the way it was then and so you'd have this real slick, straight hair. You know, Nat King Cole would have their hair like oh, that. Oh, yeah. You know, Count Basie. All these people, Duke Ellington, they were all like slicking their hair down yeah, because of this man. Yeah. And I did it too for a while. And um, so then 
from there, in 1957, they had what was called Ultra Sheen, the original Ultra Sheen. First it was Ultra Wave, then it became Ultra Sheen, like this here, where they put that cream in your hair, and it would burn your hair because it had like lye products in it. Oh, so yeah. they had to hurry up and wash it. That's why they called it fried dye and laid to the side because it burning your scalp. And then they got more <laughs> technical. 25 years later, they came out with Afro Sheen, which is a spray. And, uh, like this here. So <laughs> that's kind of the history of Afro Sheen and the Johnson products, thanks to George Johnson Sr. And then of course, when the Afro fell out of favor in the African American world, they had what was called the Jerry Curl, spelled J-H-E-R-I, Jerry Curl, which became known as Scary Curl. <laughs> and, what it, and that was just kind of like a... Yeah, it, they would like straighten the hair out with the stuff and then they put mm -hmm. the rollers in your hair. Oh yeah. And that's how they got that effect, like a young Lionel Richie. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. You know how, you know, they have that, yep. It had like a little afro, but it was like straight afro curly and it was all shiny. Yeah, it was like back. Yeah, of, and they'd okay. have long tails in the back. Okay. And stuff like was that. It, what was the process? I mean, because they, they, they get, like, rather than using that spray, they had a process that the barber would do for a lot of uh, black people's hair. Yeah, well, that they, uh, it was that cream. They called it, uh, it, it had that lye stuff, like I said. It was like a cream, and it would literally straighten out the curls. So if you had the Kunta Kinte look, it, they put that on, and uh, <laughs> I shouldn't say that probably. And, and, and you just did. I know. I did it with straighten out your hair, and that's how all the performers of the um, 40s, 50s, and by the time Johnson came around to improve those products mm -hmm. to make life easier for African American people. Because when your hair is in its natural state, it is so hard to comb. Even when you run water in there, it's just like unruly and, and just very coarse. Mm -hmm. So that's why they came out with these products, especially Johnson. He left the world some great African-American hair care products to this day. And of course, they don't have the Afro anymore. That's out of favor. And the Jerry Curl is out of favor. But in the 60s through the 80s, it was very popular. And you saw all African-American people walking around, patting their hair all oily yeah. and stuff. Cool. <laughs> that's fun. Yeah, it was just, those are just fun times. Mm -hmm. And of course now everybody goes bald these days like Michael Jordan and <laughs> yeah. Charles Barkley. Now you just shave your head. Yeah. yeah, you just shave your head. But anyway, yeah, George, to sum this up, George Sr., uh, George Johnson Sr., he just left the world some great products and he is now 88 years old, still with us. Well, cool. And I'm sure he's made a zillion dollars yeah, with those products. Has. Yeah, so I'll, that's awesome. I'll stop right there. Thanks, Asaph. Sure. That was, a, that was awesome. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys, we are, uh, now we're switching gears again, and we're going to events for your community tomorrow. So, uh, over the Providence Center at 10 a.m. is the NAMI Missoula Weekly Meeting. This is for a free weekly meeting for anyone affected by mental illness or interested in learning about, ma about NAMI. Over at Spectrum Discovery Area, there they've got uh, their Discovery Bench is Dry Ice. Their Brain Lab is Memory and Perception. Face painting is happening at the Children's Museum of Missoula at 11. Uh, and then at 1.30 over at NAMI Missoula, which is on Brook Street. And this is a free weekly support group for adults living with mental illness. Over at the Missoula Public Library, we've got a computer electronics in the makerspace starting from 3 until 6. So you can work on a project of your choice or just explore what they have. Uh, over at the Missoula Butterfly House is the Butterfly and Moth Microscope Observations. It starts at 3 p.m. until 5. So you can take a l closer look under the microscope at the similarities and differences of butterflies and moths. They'll be drawing their observations, comparing organisms, and displaying their findings. Uh, over at the Public Library is Lego Club. It starts at 3.30. And then we go across the street, back over the Missoula Insectarium for uh, their spider feeding. Mm -hmm. They're feeding that crazy tarantula, Rosie, um, and crazy. that starts at 3.30. Yeah. We've got a couple wine tastings. There's a double punch at Thursday over at Ten Spoon Vineyard and Winery at 4. Ah! <laughs> Uh, I was delayed. Oh, I would too. <laughs> double punch. I'm drinking wine. You can't just do this and then no. this again. You have to do a double punch, which is one, two. It's not like one, and then, just then one again. Punches out both my glasses of wine. <laughs> you only get one glass. Ah! Uh, they okay. just call it double fist Thursday. Double fist Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're Or be double fist it. Friday. That's what Fridays are for. Yeah. <laughs> but we're talking about that on Friday. Yes. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so you can enjoy some wine and receive two stamps on your glass pour punch card, which is, I think is hilarious that they have glass pour punch cards. Mm -hmm. uh, over at La Grata Bella, underneath the Old Post Pub, is there a drop-in downtown wine tasting at 5. Cost is twelve fifty. It's a minimum of, uh, diff minimum of four wines in a different theme each week. Okay, so you guys, I talked about, it was either last week or a couple weeks ago, uh, it was Outdoor Road Biking 101 out at Target Range School. Now we've got Outdoor Road Biking 102 out at Target Range School. So wow. Starts at 530. Um, and so it's designed for experienced road bikers wanting to improve pedal efficiency, speed, endurance, and climbing skills. Huh. Usually 102 classes are for this spring semester. Yeah, usually. Yeah, weird. Uh, each class will meet at a different location with the majority of the class time dedicated to riding. Uh, so if you're interested in the class, you must be able to comfortably ride for two hours with an average speed of 18 miles an hour or above. Uh, and so you had to have completed the first outdoor road biking class or have an instructor's approval. It sounds really intense. Uh, okay, and like I was saying, uh, for my Wednesday events, Out to Lunch and Dinner in the Park is now back in Missoula for the summer. So, at downtown tonight at Karis Park tomorrow at 5.30 is Jameson and the Sword Seeds. And there'll be uh, children's activities, a wide variety of food vendor trucks. Uh, the event will be sponsored by Community Medical Center, First Interstate Bank, and the Missoula Food Bank. Uh, over the Zootown Arts Community Center is their Hero Sound project that starts at 6. And what it is is a drop-in music class for veterans. So no experience is required. They've got app, they've got instructions, no, they have instruments and some instruction to get them together and create music in the community. Uh, over the Red X's, so I guess tomorrow is Wear Orange Rally. Uh, tomorrow's a National Gun Violence Awareness, Awareness Day. So, starting at the Red X's and then marching down Higgins to the Higgins Bridge, they're going to be, uh, what, you know, it's going to be the National Gun, National Gun Violence Awareness Day. So they're all going to be wearing orange. And uh, Mayor Ingen has proclaimed June 2nd National Gun Violence Awareness Day. Wow. So meet at the Red X's, wear your orange, march down the Higgins Bridge. Yeah. Uh, also starting this weekend is Camp Days. Uh, Camp Days Music Fest is kind of like Total Fest. It's a DIY, do-it-yourself indie music festival nice. featuring bands from all over the country. So What was that guy's name? You know, he came on our show last Foster. year. Foster. Oh, yeah. Foster, yes. Yeah, I know. He did come on our show last year, and I uh, was actually going to contact him again, but it just came up so fast. Yeah, it did. I totally... And, it. and it yeah. goes on until Friday, right? Yes. No, it goes on. It starts Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It goes on for three days. Um, and so it starts today's, tomorrow's shows are at the Zootown Arts Community Center and the VFW. So uh, starting at 7 p.m. at the Zootown Arts Community Center will be boys. They'll be from 7 to 7.30. And then Eat Strike will be from 7.40 to 8.10. Um, Tiny Loda will be from 8.20 to 8.50. Marshall Pool will be from 9 to 9.30. And then Woshek will be from from 9 40 to 10 10 so cool. that'll be at the zach so um, we got a bunch of uh, local and mm -hmm. uh cross state bands yeah yeah one band is from boise one's from bozeman and the rest are from missoula uh and then over at the sunrise saloon we've got country dance lessons with instructor kathy clark that starts at seven it's only five dollars per lesson and then we've got Clear Grain will be playing at the Sunrise Saloon at 8. So once you get those lessons in from Kathy Clark, you can uh, show them off while listening to Clear Grain. Open Mic is at the Eagles Lodge at 8.30. Open Mic is at the Broadway at 9. Dead Hipster at the Badlander at 9. Uh, karaoke at the Dark Horse at 9. There's a Homegrown Comedy at the Union Club at 9.30. So laugh with or laugh at them. Yeah. Uh, John Adam Smith Band is at the Top Hat Lounge at 10.30. And then now we've got the Camp Days Music Fest uh, at the VFW. So starting at 10, no, starting from 9.30 to 10 will be Rooster Sauce. They're from Missoula. 10.15 uh, to 10.45 is Intimate Curses. They're also from Missoula. Um, from 11 to 11.30 is Ranges. They're from Bozeman. 11.45 to 12.30 is Hosanas. They're from Portland. Ooh. And then 12.45 to 1.30 is Summer Cannibals. And they're also from Portland. I love Hosanas. Yeah. So I know that the uh, tickets for Camp Days are really, really cheap. Just go to Camp Days Music Fest. Um, or just type in Camp Days Music Fest online. You'll find the tickets. You'll be able to find out more information that you want. But I'll be talking about the bands the next couple days. But as always, you guys, you can check out MissoulaEvents.net. You know, University of Montana website, um, the independent, the Missoulian, and now destinationmissoula.org for more information about events going on in your community. I usually get my uh, information from missoulaevents.net 
and um, you guys can check that out right there. Cool. So guys, yeah. stay with us uh, right after this art clip. We'll be back with Hallmark or Bullmark right after this. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys ready to play Hallmark or Bullnark? Yes! Alright, so if you guys don't know how this game works, I read a synopsis from a Hallmark original movie, or do I? And you at home have to figure it out, and I'll uh, get these guys to guess, and then I'll reveal the answer after I read the synopsis. Maybe wait a couple seconds. Okay. Dramatic effect. Alright, let's go. Dr. Kate Lawrence, a celebrity relationship expert plans to publicly announce her engagement to Brian, a handsome and perfectly polished businessman. As Kate prepares to share the news, Brian shocks her by breaking up with her um, and calling off the wedding. Ooh! Wanting to save herself from humiliation and protect her public image, she recruits childhood friend Lucas Wright to take her ex-fiance's place. But when wedding bells ring, Kate might be more into Luke Lucas than originally planned. And the movie is called The Convenient Groom. <laughs> is this a Hallmark original movie or is this complete bullmark? Uh-oh. I don't know. Uh, I guess it's stuck on me now. It is stuck on you though. Oh, this is frozen. That's why we have this remote. I have, to, I, I have to hold this up this whole time, so I'll just zoom out. <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> <What's up? laughs> okay, so what do you guys think? Is this a Hallmark original movie? Or is this complete bullmark? Um, I think this is bullmark. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> guys, are you sure? Yeah. Yes. Are you positive? Yeah. Pretty sure. Well, it is a real movie. Really? It is a brand new movie, gonna be a original Hallmark original movie. Sounds so bad. It is a terrible movie. <laughs> it sounds movie. terrible. How is she gonna get this guy to take her ex-fiance's place? Uh, they're best friends, and probably Lucas is kinda into her. Oh, God. <laughs> sounds <laughs> awful. I guess I got stumped on that one. I just, I just, it sounded kind of like malarkey. malarkey it sounded whatever. terrible. Yeah. But it's terrible. a real, really real, okay. real movie. Okay. Wait, did it change back to two? Yeah. It did dissolve. Okay, so it's running slow, but okay. it's still going. So that camera. Well, you got your emergency remote. There you go. So. Yeah. yeah, we're back on camera too. Okay. So I'm not gonna mess with it right now. <laughs> okay. All right. Are you guys ready for yes. uh, your next one? I'm gonna hit nine, and then um, hopefully it'll, it'll dissolve yeah. into Wake Up Missoula when we get a chance. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. But if not, we'll we'll just straight up walk out like gangsters. Like like Mark Moss. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gangster. We're it's gangsta. We're yeah. getting black around here today, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, we are. Afro <laughs> Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away, our hours. Um, this uh, this show is sponsored in part by Afro Sheen. Afro Sheen. You don't like your Afro? <laughs> sheen it up. With yeah. Afro Sheen. <laughs> All right, here's the next uh, one. Hopefully okay. I can um, fool you guys on okay. this one. All right, you guys ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Marcus O'Brien is a pub owner of his family business, O'Brien's. But when O'Brien's pub is threatened from all the incoming breweries, Mark must figure out a way to get back all his customers. He hires one of his um, competing businesses, ex-employee Samantha Johnson. At first, Mark has a hard learning curve with all the changes Sam suggests. Will Mark be ready to relaunch his business in time for the town's first ever beer competition? Oh my god! And the movie's called <laughs> O'Brien on Tap. Is this a Hallmark Regional movie or is this Bullmark? Bullmark. You can say Bullmark? Yep. I'm going to agree. I'm going to say Bullmark. <laughs> well, guys, I guess. Um, is that a movie? No, it's not. Really. Yeah, it's okay, it's good. complete bull mark. Yeah. So thanks, <laughs> thanks for playing, guys, yeah, and okay. um, yeah, thanks for joining us this morning yeah. on Wake Up Missoula. Sorry, our computers are running slow, so yeah, we can't show any more social media or our tricaster just like yeah crapped out. So um, sometimes that happens though. I'll, I'll I'll just talk more about where you can find out more information. Um, you can log on to wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. You could like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. MCAT has also has a Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can also like MCAT on Facebook and uh, check us out on MCAT.org. Yep, and um, for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. I'm Noel McAvoy, and uh, hopefully this works. Yep, so Here's take it away, Asaph. Asaph out of nine. All right. Wake up, Missoula. I guess it didn't, huh? No, we're still waiting. Right. Keep playing that. Right. Maybe you become less awkward if you do that same thing again. It'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, technical difficulties are fun. Yes, they are. It's coming. It's a coming. It'll happen. It will happen. <laughs> While we're on, this guy loves you, Noel. <laughs> I love this song.